Welcome to Western Medical Training Center. A lot of nurses have questions pertaining to Method 3, or better known as CNA to LVN. We will answer most of your questions in this video, so please watch till the end. CNA to LVN is a process that is only accepted in a couple of states in the United States. Method 3 is mostly for CNAs that live in California. But Method 3 can also be used in Florida and Texas as well. Method 3 uses your experience to bypass traditional schooling and take the NCLEX exam to become a LVN. What are the first steps? The first step to qualify is you must have 51 months of paid general duty, inpatient bedside nursing experience, and must include 48 months of medical and or surgical nursing, six weeks of maternity or genitourinary nursing, and six weeks of pediatric nursing. The majority of the paid bedside nursing experience must have occurred in an inpatient clinical facility, providing the types of patient care that will prepare you for the content topics covered in the licensure examination. It is required that all experience must have occurred within the past 10 years, with half of the required experience occurring in the past 5 years. The experience must have been recent enough that you are knowledgeable regarding current types of patient care equipment, policies and procedures. What jobs are accepted as paid work experience? Communicable disease nursing, public health nursing, occupational health nursing, office nursing, MD, psychiatric nursing, operating room nursing, private duty nursing, performed in acute care facilities only, emergency room nursing, outpatient clinic, post-anesthesia recovery nursing, hemodialysis nursing, rehabilitation nursing, gerontological nursing, and emergency medical technician service are accepted as paid work experience. What about recent education? Or if I did not finish my LVN program? If you have received any formal nursing education from an approved vocational nursing, practical nursing or registered nursing program, you may be able to submit your official transcripts for evaluation to get credit, instead of paid bedside nursing experience. The board must receive transcripts directly from the school, for each course completed, including theory and clinical hours, as well as the grades for each course. In order to receive equivalency credits for the course, applicants must earn a C or above. Courses taken in approved vocational nursing, practical nursing, psychiatric technician or registered nursing programs will be the only courses that grant credit. I've been a CNA for over 9 years. Do I qualify for CNA to LVN? That all depends on where you have worked. If most of your career you have been in an inpatient clinical facility, then most likely your hours will count. The board is very strict on this and your hours must be submitted by your employer. The only difficulty we see is usually getting six weeks of paternity and maternity. These hours cannot be volunteer and must be paid for to count as hours. Unfortunately, we do not have any classes in maternity or pediatric training. This is mostly taught in hospitals. If I get my LVN license through Method 3, can I work in other states? Licensure through Method 3 is not accepted everywhere. Please note that achieving licensure via the equivalency method may limit the licensee's ability to be hired as a licensed vocational nurse or psychiatric technician. No other state accepts licensees who have been licensed via this method. In addition to licensure, some healthcare facilities within California require that their potential employees be graduates of approved nursing or psychiatric technician programs. Such facilities will not hire licensees who have achieved licensure via the equivalency method. Now, let's go over what you need to start the process. Here are the prerequisites. Step 1. Complete 54 hours of pharmacology and have a valid CNA license. Step 2, you should acquire an application from the California Board of Vocational Nursing by calling the fundamental phone number at 916-263-7800 or by sending an email to the board at bvnpt at dca.ca.gov. Give your complete name and postage information. Remember, for the application, the envelope should be self-addressed, then the board will send to you once your application is approved to take the NCLEXPN is endorsed. Step 3. Acquire the Employment Verification Nursing Experience Form from the California Board of Vocational Nursing. Have every business you have worked for complete the necessary areas and send the application to the board. 
when the employment verification has been completed it is to be sent in an envelope checked work verification. Your boss, as well as every previous employer, must be the one to mail this employment verification to the board, not you. The board won't acknowledge mail that have been opened or messed with. Step 4 Fingerprinting Download the form from the BVNPT's website. Most police and sheriff workplaces, just as nearby Department of Justice workplaces can do fingerprinting, so call and check those in your general vicinity. They may charge in fee for this administration, and you will have to show proof of identity. The workplace doing the fingerprinting will send the documents to the Department of Justice and the FBI to check your experience. When both the Department of Justice and the FBI have run the vital record verification, every organization will send the live scan results to the board. We hope we answered all your questions pertaining to Method 3 CNA to LVN. If you have any other questions, please contact your state's Board of Nursing. If you would like to take our 54-hour pharmacology program, visit our website today.